In my last video, I showed how to lock the clutch on a motor from a cheap cordless drill by installing set screws or grub screws in these holes. They protrude just enough internally to give the clutch plate something to engage with, which stops the motor shaft from spinning freely. If you're interested to know more about that process and missed the video, I'll put the link in the description below. This is a quick follow-up video where I'll show a simple method for attaching a wheel to the motor for use in your robotics or RC projects. The first step, of course, is going to be finding a wheel that is fit for the task. Hobby and hardware shops are a good place to start and usually stock a variety of plastic wheels like these in various sizes. You'll need to choose a wheel where the diameter of the center hole is not larger than the diameter of the output shaft on your drill motor. The reason for this is that we'll be tapping that center hole of the wheel to match the thread on the motor shaft. If the hole in the wheel is smaller, you can pre-drill that hole to size before tapping the required thread. However, if the hole is too large to begin with, then this process won't work. You'll need to check the thread on the shaft of the motor that you plan to use and make sure you have the required tap to match. Take the tap and carefully thread the center hole of the wheel. If needed, make sure you've pre-drilled the hole for the tap that you'll be using, and then give some thought as well as to how you'll keep the tap centered and square as you begin to thread the hole. A vise in combination with either a drill press or a milling machine are both good options. You can still do this freehand, but you'll definitely want to make sure that you do everything you can just to ensure that you drill and tap that hole as straight as possible. Once the hole has been threaded, I'll apply a little Loctite to the thread and then begin carefully screwing the wheel onto the motor shaft. The final step is to take the chuck screw that I talked about in the last video, add a small flat washer, put some Loctite on the thread, and then screw that into the end of the motor shaft, which will further secure the wheel and lock it in place. Remember as well that the chuck screw is a reverse thread, so you need to turn the screw anti-clockwise to tighten it. Once the wheel is attached, you can power on the motor to test it. The wheel should spin smoothly without any major wobbling. This is not by any means a preferred motor and wheel combination for robotics, but as I said in the last video, if you're working to a budget, this is a quick and cheap way to get started building combat robots or RC vehicles. I have a couple of other videos in the works at the moment, but I will come back to this series soon just to show some options for making motor mounts, and then finally a couple of different methods for driving these motors. If you found any of this helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time. That's it.